Software 8 has several different stitch types for your designs. There are two basic types of stitches, either fill or outline. Fills can only be used for objects that are enclosed, while outlines can be used for objects that are open or enclosed. First, let's look at editing the stitch type of a design that is included with the software. If you want to change just the filled heart, you must hold down the Alt key and click on the heart since the design is grouped. You can tell the design is grouped by the symbol in the upper left corner of color film. By holding the Alt key down, you can select just the heart. The design is still grouped, but you will edit only the selected heart. The current type of stitch is highlighted in gold in the stitch toolbar. And by resting your cursor on this icon, you can see what kind of fill is used. Notice that both the outlines and the fills are active in the stitch toolbar. You can change a filled object into an outline, but you will not always be able to change an outlined object into a fill stitch. The object must be enclosed to do this. After selecting the heart, you can change the fill to any one of the available fills by clicking on that icon in the bottom of the screen. This method always applies the default type of that particular fill. If you wish to select something other than the default fill, the change can be made through Object Properties. Simply click on the icon to open Object Properties. And you'll see that you have many different ways to edit this type of fill. You can see that some of these types of stitches are not going to be appropriate for this particular object. And it may be because of the shape. It may be because of the size of the design. But you'll see that these stippling stitches are really not appropriate for this size of object. We will look at all the different types of stitches in this series of videos, as well as the appropriate type of object for each of the different stitch types. You can also change the stitch type within Object Properties by clicking on the drop down arrow next to Fill Type and selecting the type of fill you wish to use, and then Click on Apply to keep the dialog box open, or OK to close the dialog box. If you select an outline stitch, and I'll do that in color film, only the outline stitches are highlighted at the lower part of the screen. You cannot change this outline into a fill stitch. Again, by clicking on the icons in the outline toolbar, you can change the type of outline. You have more options than the default. Simply open Object Properties, and then you can change the type of stitch. When you create your own designs using the digitizing tools, you can create an object before selecting the type of stitch, or you can pre-select the type of stitch you want before digitizing the object.